Welcome back guys, this is XNDR342, we're back here with another Cooking Simulator Pizza DLC video. In the last episode, we made all of these sauces over here, and we made a pizza, a margarita pizza that we already sold. So, since I've been gone, there was a new update, I'll put it right up in the screen right now, you can guys see and read uh, all of the stuff that that came with a new update, patch number 4. Uh, so there are quite a few improvements that the game has made. However, we're going to focus now on the next task in hand that we have from our mystery man over here on the left side. So, as you can see, there's only one quest left to finish the introductory section. You must fulfill an order, accept a new order, prepare a pizza according to the client's expectations and serve it. That's all there is to it. Don't worry, I'll give you a few tips on how to make your customer happy. So, notice that you're only 50 XP away from the next level. So it's right here, root 50 XP. Um, and completing this quest will result in leveling up. Hover over your basket to check out the rewards that await you for achieving the next level. Uh, put down the smartphone when you're done. Okay, I put down the smartphone. Lesson number one, each order is rated by your guests. You can achieve a total of five stars, each one for the following categories. Pizza base, sauce, cheese, ingredients, and time. Alright, this each star can be bronze, silver, or gold quality, depending on how well you have prepared your pizza in the given aspect. However, if you mess up badly, you might not get a star at all. Lesson number two, the timer starts the moment you accept the order. If you manage to complete it within 30 minutes, you earn a bonus bronze star. Within 20, that will be a silver one. If you manage to prepare the pizza in under 10 minutes, that gold star is yours. While you're still earning, do not worry about the time, even if you go over a 30 minute mark. You can still achieve a gold in all other categories. I've never heard of somebody say no to a good pizza. Let's go serving to the serving window, I'll teach you about accepting new orders. So serving window right here, alright, saving the game, alright, then uh, orders can be accepted for only half an hour since a new day starts, but guests only guests won't leave until they have received their pizzas, even if that means waiting. So this pizzeria is really busy, so don't worry about running out of orders, it has never happened. However, we have one golden rule. We do not accept more than five orders at a time. You can control when the orders order times start, but the workday progresses from the time of the day, uh, from the time the day starts until the day ends. So let's get a move on and ring the bell to accept an order. So ring the bell. There we go. The order has arrived, uh, and there it is. Your first order from a customer. Launch the Bell a Pizza app. So this is the Bella Pizza app to check out the details. As you can see, there's time is already running. So let's get uh, into order details. Let's pin that, and then uh, you see there's a new icon for the pin. Anyway, the order specifies the kind of dough, sauce, cheese, ingredients, as well as how much of those uh, the client wants. Sometimes those categories will be blank. That means that, for example, a customer does not want cheese on the pizza. The arrow button is next to the dough and sauce type will switch your view to the recipes. Fortunately, we, pre we prepared everything we need yesterday, so we don't need to use recipes. That is a lot to remember, but you can pin the order using the pin button. Uh, you can pin the order using the pin button. After you put the pin, put it on the smartphone, so you will be able to see the basically the thing on the side. So saving again for no reason. We'll start with the dough. As you might have noticed, the order specifies the pizza size. We distinguish three pizza sizes: small, medium, and large. That applies both to both the dough lumps and the resulting bases. Lumps of dough can be split and combined. I'll show you. Aim at the large dough uh, lump, but do not pick it up. So, dough lump. Alright, aim at it. There it is, large. Uh, all you have to do is press Q and the dough will divide. Q. Oh, that's so cool, we got medium ones now. Good, you're now holding a small lump of dough, actually medium. We can split it even more. That's a small one. Combining two small lumps of dough will give you a medium lump. Combining a small lump and medium lump, or, or three lumps, will become a large dough lump. Believe me, the math checks out. 
But enough chit chat, it's time to get to roll out the dough. You still remember how to do it? Yes. I do, actually. Place the mediums out on the bake board. So pick up. Um, no, we did, we got the wrong one. Because he wants place a medium. Oh, he wants a medium one. Okay. So we place it over here. Just like that. Customers also pay attention to whether the pizza base was made the proper dough type. However, if you made the dough exactly how I told you yesterday, everything should be fine. So take the roller thing and roll it. Alright, so roll the dough. Just like that. There we go. Saving again. Okay. Press T. Uh, the pizza base also needs to be well baked to achieve a gold star. But this is something we'll worry about later. Alright, customers do not usually like to dry sauce on pizza. So as long as you put any sauce on the pizza, you will be able to receive a star. The only exception is if someone ordered a pizza without a sauce. Silver star for using the ordered sauce. Remember that that he has to meet the client's recipe to count. The client ordered marinara sauce, so we should be prepared. Go on and pour some sauce on the pizza base. Alright, get out of here. Uh, exit the view. Alright. Marinara sauce. What is this? This is marinara sauce. So we're going to be pouring it all around the pizza. All around. Just like that. How do we uh, spread sauce? Saving again. This is so annoying. They should fix this. Uh, I want to spread it more. Can I not? Yes, yes, I can. I can. I want to spread it all around. Just like that. As much sauce as possible all the way around the pizza. Just like that. That should be good. Alright. The cheese rating consists of three factors. The first two are quite simple. Use the right type of and quantity of cheese. Just follow the amount specified in the order. Don't worry if you use a little too much, the customer will be happy. Alright. The third factor is more complex. When you shove the pizza into the oven, the cheese will begin to melt. Customers expect the whole surface of the pizza to be covered by melted cheese. Alright. Uh, decorate the pizza with 100 grams of mozzarella cut. So, 100 grams. Um, this is how much? 20 grams? Oh, whoops, wait, is this, this is 920 grams? Uh, 900 grams, 880, all right, 860, 100 much we need but I think that's pretty much good. The final score is an average value based on the quantity and even distribution of each ingredient. The better you fare, the better you star, the better star you achieve. Let's start with the onion slices. Some ingredients are too small or used in such large quantities that exact placement doesn't matter. Instead, just scatter handful, handfuls of these on the pizza. So, handful of white onion on the pizza. So, uh, just like that. That looks like a handful, 16, 32, perfect. Decorate the pizza with black olives. Black olives, 64 grams. So, 30, 58, 64. Just like that. Seems quite alright, saving again, alright. Uh, let's see again, press T to continue, we're almost done. The next thing we have to do is... Prepare a plate for the pizza. Take on, take it on from the stack. The pizza size is medium, so we need a medium plate. All right, so we need. Oh, there it is, a medium plate down there. So let's take, make sure to take that plate, and then we have to place the medium plate on the counter. So, uh, not this way. Oh, we cannot put it on that counter. Okay, there we go. And then we can we, uh, we hold on. Place the medium pizza plate on the counter. Oh, over there. Okay. Place a pizza right there. Uh, there we go. Uh, the green bar indicates a pizza is done. The red bar indicates a pizza is starting to burn. Do not worry too much about it. Not every pizza has to be baked pair perfectly. So, uh, let's take this thing, the pizza peel, and bake the pizza and take it out of the oven. 
So let's put the pizza in the oven, just like this. Alright. Oh, I forgot the fire. Okay. Let's put it in there and get the sort of fire started. Alright, just drop that on the floor. Uh, we need fire, though. Let's open this back. Uh... Okay, hold on. I think I gotta put... I gotta take the wood and then put it at the bottom. And then more wood. Put it at the bottom. I think that is not good. We gotta put more wood more wood in the thing here. Yeah, that's that's on the green bar now. So, that should be cooking over here. Slowly, slowly. And then, then we gotta wait until this is finished. So, you can see the green bar is going up. And our pizza is right in there, you can see guys. It's um, getting ready, getting ready. Alright, that's this is almost done, so let's just wait a little bit more over here, check out what we have on the other side. Everything seems to be going well, so that's pretty good. And um, over here, still waiting for that, alright. Look at the view guys, isn't this so beautiful, just looking out the window, seeing that view. Uh, we cannot open the window because we have this thing. So let's put that thing over there and open the window. Just like that. Let's see if our pizza is done. Uh, it is done. We can take it out. Uh, let's make sure it doesn't burn. So let's take out the pizza. That one, yes. Alrighty. Uh, is that burned or is that just the olives? I'm not sure. I, th I think that's just the olives, that's how they look, the olives, so, saving again, alright, alright, uh, and then we put it back here, and we put it on the plate, <gasps> no, 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 what happened, okay, okay, hold on, we can put it on another plate, down here, uh, let's put it on another plate, uh hold on let's put the pizza there for the moment uh let's throw this thing on the floor let's get another plate <laughs> and then uh uh yeah let's just ignore that other plate you didn't see anything guys all right uh and then we gotta pick this back up pizza peel all right pick up the pizza from the counter and then put it on the plate just like that. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. And that, ladies and gentlemen... Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, this... Let me take the plate. This is our Pugliese Pizza. So what you think, guys? Did I do a good job? Let me know down below in the comments. It looks... A little bit... It looks good. It looks good. So let me know down in the comments um, if I did a good job on the pizza. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any tips, tips like to let me know, let me know down below. Also, guys, if you are new to this series, please go down, subscribe to my channel, and you will be part of the XMDR family. So please go down, subscribe, and you will be part of a family. I'll see you guys in the next uh, Cooking Simulator Pizza DLC video. Bye-bye!